Hey guys, it's Tychondrius here again, just doing a quick video review for this awesome, awesome belated Christmas present that I got from my friend Natasha. And it's a fantastic little set. It's one of the Mega Bloks Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed uh, sets. Now, over here, they don't. I haven't seen a single one of these Assassin's Creed Mega Block sets over in Ireland. Um, I got this from my friend Natasha in the States and it's a fantastic set and uh, again as i said i haven't seen any of these in stores over here all that we seem to have over here mega blocks wise is call of duty sets which are the older call of duty sets now there's been several other ones since and the halo uh sets as well which seem to be sort of slowly dying out because there's not many of the newer halo kits coming out just the older ones that we seem to be getting lots of now this set is a cannon strike set. And just bring the box into view there. If we can just move up the camera. It is the cannon strike set. It's for 10 plus. It's set number 94303 and it's 75 or 74 pieces. There was a few spare leftover pieces as well. And uh, it's a really, really cool set. And just flip around the back. Uh, character's name from this Assassin's Creed set is Arnold Dorian. As far as I know, he's the main character from the latest Assassin's Creed game, which I haven't played and I'm not too familiar with. But I think, if I remember correctly, it's set in France during sort of the um, French Civil War sort of era, and it's. Uh, and as you can see on the bottom, there's a few other sets from the previous uh, Assassin's Creed games, including the kind of Da Vinci style um, flying um, glider and some of the other characters from the one that had the pirates in it, which I think was Assassin's Creed 4, if I'm correct. And so there's a little rundown of what you get uh, for the character. You get a flintlock pistol, a cutlass, and you get his kind of hidden... I suppose assassin weapon which is supposed to be like a hidden sort of blade slash uh, crossbow combination so onto the set itself it's a really cool cannon it comes with a piece to represent the plunger for pushing the would have been for plunging or uh, pushing the ammunition in and I think they, were they also used I don't think they were also used for lighting uh, the the actual um you know the firing mechanism for them but it's an awesome set uh, let's move the guy out of the way and it reminds me a lot of the old um lego pirate set which used to come with cannons so you get these ammunition blocks which are just the kind of roundy single pieces and you load it into the cannon in the front and you just pull it back on the kind of, well, I'm not sure what part of the cannon that would be, but you just pull this piece back on the cannon, and if we can line it up, it fires out. It fires quite well, it's not too bad, and the majority of the pieces go into this, and then you have um, the small little base, as I said, with the ammunition, and it comes with what's supposed to be a powder magazine for the cannon. You can also use it to store the uh, extra parts for the main character himself. And onto Arniel, he comes with, as I said, flint lock pistol, which is quite good, and a cutlass, and the little Assassin Creed, or the Assassin kind of crossbow thing, which unfortunately I managed to break straight out of the box when I got it. It's supposed to have a full semicircle piece, so it can clip onto the underneath the arm, but I can sort that and repair that. Now, the figure itself and uh, the articulation of the figure is quite good it's all using the newer um mega blocks articulation that they've been introducing slowly which is the previously on the old halo figures and some of the older mega blocks figures you could just move the arm up and down but there's no elbow swivel so they've introduced an elbow swivel which is a great addition to most of the figures so now you can do uh, especially on like the Halo figures in Call of Duty, they can, you can almost get um, double-handed poses for holding weapons. And the thing with this version of the character is he has the hood on, but you can swap that out. So the hood is just, 
it has a peg so it plugs into the big hole in his head kind of like old lego figures and with the headpiece off he actually even looks a bit like one another video game character which is the hitman character uh from the or agent 47 from the game hitman and you just get a a wig uh sort of piece that clips straight in and you have him with the kind of um can't remember the exact name of that kind of hairstyle but it's like kind of um almost an aristocratic style uh, hairdo where it had you know the hair tied off in a po kind of small bun at the back um as i said the figure has a uh, swivel waist uh you can take off the top of the shirt part but it, it doesn't look as good without it because the arms are still the color to be the coat uh, you can do 360 with the ar elbow or with the elbow. Do 360 with the shoulder, and you can do a 360 rotation on the wrist wrists. Uh, legs can go in and out. Not it's not too hindered by the coat. Uh, the coat is of kind of really soft plastics or soft rubbery plastic, so you can actually get full range of movement out of the legs. They do hinder it a small bit when going backwards, but if you maneuver it you can actually just pop the leg off there you can actually get one leg to go back further than the other but all in all it's a really good set and i highly recommend it and as i said i got this from my friend natasha in the state and it's an awesome set and i have to thank her again for sending it to me um as i said I got this as, as a belated Christmas present and she also sent me the McFarlane um, kind of six inch version of Dory or of Arno Dorian as well so hopefully at some point I'll get around to doing a quick review for that one as well I uh, hope you enjoyed my quick review I hope I didn't waffle too much and if you like leave please, uh, feel free to leave a comment on the on the video once I have it posted thanks